Hi everyone, it's Jean from Sew It Themes. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, I am still working on my ocean sea themed journals and I'm going to do some ephemera today. And guess what I'm going to use to do my ephemera with? And if you've been following me, you probably can guess what it is. Oh yes, it is the good old window envelopes from our junk mail. Uh, I, I almost didn't do this because I thought I've done so many on this topic that, you know, probably people are getting bored with it. But I'm going to do one more because uh, I think it solves a problem that maybe some of us have. And um, maybe not, but I think I think it will. So what the, what it is is that it, I get these wonderful field guide books, right? To do to do get vintage um, photo uh, not photographs but illustrations from. And what happens so often is you have this really beautiful one you want to use in this side, but you turn it over and go, well, there's another one. So now which one am I going to use? Am I going to use this one? Am I going to use it? And you have to make a decision. And sometimes, you know, with fish, it may not be so painful. But with birds and with flowers, you just go like, they're just so both beautiful. I have to decide on one. Well, this way, you can use them both. So this is what we're going to work on today. And what you'll need is two um, windowed envelopes and the largest that you can get them the better and for some reason we get so much of this particular company and it has these large nice windows in them and so you'll need two of them uh, and first thing we're going to need is a pair of scissors let's see here here we go uh, i'm going to cut them i'm going to split them and i'm only going to split them on one side like so and one side up here like so so we want to split them out and in fact I probably should have just used my paper trimmer would have been a better edge on it right it might have been a lot faster oh well it'll be okay I'll just go over here really fast to even this out because I just noticed that I don't have a lot of room between here and the edge like I did in the first one that I made just a little while ago. Okay, there we go. So now you'll have two. And we'll open them up. Oh boy, I didn't really get that. Just go right away. Oh my. Here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we've got two of them that we can open up. Like so. Now we're going to have to determine, you know, at least on one of them, we'll have to determine where we can cut it and not cut it. So I kind of like having the name in there. That's, that's pretty cool. And then if you hold this up to the light, oftentimes you can kind of see where the other image is coming in and how well, you know, that's working on the other side. But for the most part, um, pretty much if you get one side, you got the other. Then we're going to need a pencil. And you're going to want to have enough places on there to glue it. So I'd say, you know, a good half inch at least this way. Um, this way might be a little different. Okay. So that gives me an idea. So we'll just come down here and we'll just cut this little puppy out. Like so. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to that one. So I might have to cut closer over here than I want. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. So you kind of get the general gist of that. And we'll stick it over here one more time. And come down with the name. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, you can 
always cut this off later on that side. And so now I'm going to glue along here, along down here, below the window. There we go. And kind of get the one side glued in. Run a bead of glue down on this side. Okay. So, oh, I might be out of frame. Let me see if I can adjust this just for a minute. Sorry about that. Okay. There. Now we will take this side and put the other window on it. And so, what I like to do is, um, Try to line up the creases, the bendy part here, so the bendy parts can kind of match because it will make it a little bit easier when we get done. Alrighty, so let's go up a little further. There we go. There. And so we have this. And so one of the reasons that I am using this um, picture is for the color more than it is for the fish. Because, you know, really, fish is fish, right? So it's really more for the color that it's going to go with um, ephemera. And then we will go ahead and glue this around like this there we go there. and we'll just put this on top of here match up the fold there a little bit Okay. Yep, and we got the fold matched up there. Very nice. Now I'm going to take an envelope um, and I've already sealed it. I've already sealed it. The, you can make your own envelopes if you wanted to, but I just took a, a regular, um, I think, four and a half by five and a half or something like that envelope and sealed it up. And then we're going to take off just a little edge off at the top, a slit, like so. Have an opening. So you've got an opening like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip a portion of this into the envelope so that we have this really fun little flap here going. So we need to kind of, kind of like maybe try to put this in the middle, sorta. Oh, I don't really like this, that wording. Hmm. I'm not sure if there's a way to avoid that wording. Well, that's all right. Uh, let's see. We'll put it in the middle and just do this and do this. So this gives us a guide as to how much to chop off this way. I'll just put that in there. Line it up close to that. Take it off this way. And do the same on this side. All right. Now this little flap here, the part that's going to go inside the envelope, you know, probably an inch, you know, eye it up about an inch to go in. Don't think it needs to be, you know, terribly thick, just enough so that when you glue it, it'll, it'll latch onto there pretty good. So let's make sure it's going to fit. Sometimes 
Sometimes you have to readjust it. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a tiny tad. So we'll just come in here just a little bit like this. Cut those words off. That's nice. And let's see how will this fit now. Perfect fit. Yep. There we go. So now you see that we have um, a little window envelope that will show that two sided piece of uh, picture or whatever you have. It will show both sides which is kind of fun now i know fish are kind of boring but this is going to go into an ocean type of uh, journal so we'll just cut off the excess over here and now you know even if it if you want to you can cut it to match perfectly the outside of this envelope or you can cut it like this is going to be on the inside a little bit and it kind of gives it a little place to flip open um, I think I'm going to do that because I think I like to have uh, a little bit where you can flip it this way. So anyways, there is the general gist of it. And so then you'll just glue this down inside here, of course, put your bead of glue the glue right down here there cool and you know what if I was really super smart about it um, I could have just glued one side of it and had this be a slipping pocket well okay then I would just have glued this one side well never mind I do have a slip pocket after all <laughs> I guess that worked out for the best. So now I have a pocket over here that I can put something in. And we have a flip open and then we can journal in here. And then as far as, you know, decorating this, um, you know, I definitely would go in and probably tea stain it. But I would also consider doing uh, a little bit of collage in there, some little... Uh, collage that you can tear up so like for instance um like here's a collage sheet i believe this was from roxy creations and i would um you know just tear off just sort of a tear here do a little inking and then start gluing you know little strips um little strips around um this picture here so that's what i would do with that and then you can get you can get these things covered up over here so that is the little flip here is one that i previously made a little bit prettier with flowers this is a little bit uh, of a smaller window and, and i guess really the size of your window is going to depend upon the size of your um picture or illustration but here's one that i did and uh, a little place of journal here, and then got a place of journal here. So, anyways, that is my project for today. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for viewing. Thank you, all you new subscribers, and welcome. And it's just it's so much fun to share this and to see other people share their craftiness. I just, just love it. Just really enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching and. And if this is your first time, then please subscribe below. I am going to be working on ocean and sea themed uh, ephemera. And um, click and, and we'll see how where it takes us. And then I'll when I finish my journal, I'll have a flip through on it. So thanks so much for viewing. I hope you have a great day. Bye.